Let's talk about an incredibly important tool for all traders and investors, and that is drawing tools. Now, look at our mouse moving down on the left side of the chart. Now, the mouse is moving up. This is the Drawing Tools menu. Now, what you immediately want to know about the Drawing Tools menu is that this is how you add technical analysis, even forms of fundamental analysis, as well as drawings and notes to your chart. It is available to all users of TradingView, and it is really the most effective way to understand how a price symbol is moving, what's happening, and the data behind it. So. Let's zoom out here and really make sure that if you're watching this video, you understand these tools from the basics. Now you'll notice that there is an arrow here next to each drawing tool. And this arrow perfectly categorizes drawing tools by their specific function or style of analysis. So you'll notice that as we scroll down, well now we see forecasting and measurement tools. We can click this and open the forecasting and measurement tools. We can expand the menu and now we even see topics within this menu, projection tools, volume based tools, as well as measuring tools. And this can be done for all of the drawing tools so that you know exactly what you're selecting, how it works, and why you should be using it. So one of the fastest ways to get started with these drawing tools, if you have a TradingView chart open right now, is to head over to the drawing tool menu, open up these drawing tools, and begin to experiment because you can select a tool and add it to your chart and set it live just like that. Okay, there's a few other really important things that we have to show you about drawing tools so that you know what you can do, especially all of the customization options. Now in this example, we are going to go ahead and click Anchored View App, and we're going to add Anchored View App to our chart, and just like that, it's instantly calculated, and now it's drawn on our chart in front of us. This is, as we were saying, a volume-based tool, and we can learn that just by opening up the menu. But for the sake of this video, let's also have the brush tool open and let's draw a circle here. Now, what we want to point your attention to is the floating toolbar here. This floating toolbar bar is specifically connected to drawing tools. And what it is, is a quick and fast way for you to change the color of your drawing tools. You may have noticed it just turned to red. Well, we can accomplish that by clicking the floating toolbar where the color is shown, and then picking the color of our choice, and it instantly changes. We can also adjust the line thickness. So if we want to make the line thicker, now it's thicker, or if we want to make it thinner, now it's thinner. You can also open up the settings menu. Now, a few quick tips about the settings menu. You can also double click on a drawing tool to get the settings menu open. So for example, we have this circle selected. Let's double click and now our settings menu is open. Keep in mind, this settings menu is fairly similar across all drawing tools. So once you dive in and get started, you will start to master all of the customizations available to you. What you'll be able to do is adjust some inputs if the drawing tool calls for that. You'll also almost always be able to change the color of your drawing tools. This is important because traders and investors like to make their own chart or their own drawing tools that's specific to the colors and look and feel that they appreciate. So keep that in mind when you do start adding your drawing tools. Now a few other tips that are very important about drawing tools is that you can also favorite drawing tools to make your own personalized floating toolbar only of the drawing tools that you love. So you'll notice that we have all of these tools selected now in this floating toolbar, and they are all being determined by the star icon here. So now it says remove from favorites. Well, watch what happens when we unselect the star. It's now gone. Watch what happens when we unselect the star. It's now gone. And now watch what happens when we add some stars. You can see the menu is now expanding. So you can favorite your 
drawing tools that you use most to create a really handy floating toolbar that is fully accessible to you at any time. For traders with really specific processes or investors who want to write notes all the time or even just add arrows to point out important levels, making this kind of floating toolbar will improve the speed of your analysis. A few quick final points before we wrap up is that there is an object tree at the bottom right of the chart. If you ever lose track of the drawings on your chart, you can open the object tree and instantly see all of them right here. So if you lose track or if you quickly want to hide a specific drawing tool so watch this arrow we hide or watch the brush it's hidden anchored VWAP it's hidden we've just hidden them all you can very quickly see all of them in the object tree you can also organize them you can quickly adjust them or change their settings it's all possible from the object tree pay close attention to our mouse our mouse at the bottom right when we click and open all of our drawing tools will be here. Last but not least, there's a few more capabilities down here located at the bottom of the drawing tool menu. The magnet mode, if you hover your mouse over it, you can read about exactly what it does. It'll snap the drawing tool to the near nearest open, high, low, close. This is important for trend line tools. If you want a trend line to snap exactly to a specific price level, for example, this exact low here, you're going to want to get good at magnet mode. And like like the other tools, there is a way to open up the magnet mode menu to have a weak and strong magnet. There are also some other tools here, such as stain and drawing mode, so that you can draw quickly. The tools are always open no matter where you click. There's a lock all drawing tools, hide all indicators, and there's a chart or drawing syncing feature as well. And then, of course, you can remove objects and drawing tools by using this trash icon. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope that this video helps you get started with drawing tools. And one of the best ways to get started is to start exploring what's possible by expanding the menus, clicking a drawing tool, and adding it to your chart, and then opening up the settings, changing the colors as you see fit, or the settings as you see fit, and creating a really perfect process for you. Thanks so much for watching.